What's up, what's going on guys? Good to be back with you on the next lesson. In this one, we're gonna go over how to spice up your tom grooves. And these are really simple things that you can start doing right away to give you a lot more ideas as you're grooving on the toms. Sometimes we just don't really know how to change the regular grooves that we're playing on our hi-hat to just make it feel natural and move around those grooves to the toms and just play naturally around the toms. I'm gonna to show you a few simple steps that you can start doing right away to get your tom groove game way up there and start sounding good so you can feel good as you're playing those. Let's get into it. So let's just start with a really basic tom groove so we can get some context here. We'll just play eighth notes on the floor tom with our right hand, backbeat on two and four on the snare, kick on one and three, and our hi-hat's gonna be counting those offbeat eighth notes. So here's what that looks like. I think we're all there, we can all do that. Most of you are gonna be familiar just playing that basic beat. So the first thing we can do to start adding a little more life to this groove is utilizing a little bit more notes in the subdivision. So right now we're thinking of eighth notes, but let's start adding in some 16th notes. So our left hand's only playing two and four, but we could start slipping in some more 16th notes. So let me show you an example of what that looks like as we're moving in our left hand a little bit more, not on every single 16th, but on a few select ones. Let me show you what that looks like. So the notes we're slipping in are one E and two and a three E and four and one E and two and a three E and four and. And all of those are gonna be played with the left hand. So the nice thing about this is our right hand's not changing. More notes are happening, but nothing's changing. We're keeping that same easy eighth note uh, pulse with our right hand on the floor tom. And these other 16th notes are just coming in as we're moving it around the tom. So it's a really great way to start changing up the feel already and a very simple way to do it. Step number two is to start introducing just a unison note. So as we're playing those regular eighth notes, we wanna add, we wanna thicken those up by actually putting our left hand on the rack tom as we play the right hand on the floor tom. So a good spot to do that is the and of two. One and two and three and four and. So let's play the same thing we were doing before with those extra 16th notes, but also add in that extra note to thicken it up on the and of two. Okay, so that's another way to just kind of beef up the toms and get a thicker note in there. So both of those together, the first example and the other example, let's kind of mix them around, all right? Right, so already pretty simple changes that we can start making and all of a sudden our tom groove of just normal eighth notes is starting to sound a lot more interesting. Step number three is we're gonna start playing a 16th note double with our left hand. And a couple good places to do that is the and a uh before one and the and a uh before three. So let me show you what that looks like. Right, so different feel again, adds a little bit more texture, fills out the groove a little bit more, but it's not too much. It just adds some nice, subtle elements to the groove. All right, now that we've gone through each one individually, let's just kind of put it all together. I'll start adding those in, all three of those variations, and we'll just have some fun, all right? Play at a nice low BPM of 80 beats per minute.
So those three steps were pretty self-explanatory and pretty simple, and they all had to do with the left hand, adding in some more notes and different ways to the tom groove with that left hand, right? But there's one very important element that we're leaving out, and it's gonna make our tom grooves way more punchy, way more beefy, and that's our kick drum. By adding more notes with the kick drum, we can really change this tom groove altogether and make it sound way bigger. I want you to try out this pattern with me. We got... <laughs> One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So now, without doing any other things, let's just play the normal tom groove, eighth notes on the floor, two and four on the snare, and play that kick drum pattern. All right? A lot more going on there now. Now let's start adding in that left hand like we were before and really put this whole thing together. Three, four. So suddenly that really straightforward, kind of boring eighth note tom groove takes on a whole new level of beefiness and fun. So let's try that at a few different tempos. Remember, the left hand variations can be your own. We can just start really simple on that, but try to play along with me and try to play that kick drum pattern with me. All right, here we go. Now notice, we haven't even changed the right hand. The right hand is staying just steady eighth notes on the floor tom. Nothing's changing there. It's just crazy how much this tom groove has changed just by the kick drum pattern in our left hand placement and those extra notes we're putting in with the left. Now let's bump the tempo even more and really get this thing rocking and rolling. Here we go. Now that is just a ton of fun. I love just big rolling tom grooves, just thick sounding toms, and just tom grooves that just kind of grab you because they sound powerful. I've always loved that. I don't know what it is about the drums. That's one of my favorite things to do is just get nice big rolling tom grooves. So if you guys like that, make sure to hit the thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope it gave you some ideas to move around the kit. Now, if you like rolling tom grooves, you gotta check out the last video I just put out. It's a new song I actually just released. It's my own personal single I recorded and produced, and I got some big major tom rolls that I'm doing in that song. It's super fun, and you gotta check that out. Anyways, guys, thanks for sticking with me through the lesson. Now remember, before you click away, if you guys want more training, you gotta take advantage of the free resources that I'm totally giving everybody. The free resources you can get are five totally free downloadable practice loops. They're drumless tracks that you can start playing to so that you can just sharpen up your chops to different musical genres and sharpen up your grooves. That's just a great way to practice. Also, if you want to make sure that you're getting well-rounded drum training, then check out the free training video I've put together. It's everything a drummer needs to build a solid foundation on the drums. Often as self-taught drummers, we're missing over some key 
principles on the drums. We're missing some key training in some specific areas, and it holds us back from really being the best drummer we can be. But if you watch this training, I really cover those f foundational and fundamental things you really need to have a good grasp on. So make sure to check that out if you want to sharpen up your drum skills and just always be learning and growing. It's a great place to start. So thanks, guys, so much for watching this. I'll see you on the next lesson here in about a week or so. Take care, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.